I'm Mike Rhodes, Chief Pilot at Air Tractor. Today we're going to show you how to make trim adjustments to your airplane to make it a more enjoyable airplane to fly, which makes you a safer, more efficient pilot. Before I do the evaluation flight, I'm going to set the electric aileron trim to a streamlined position. The rudder trim wheel should be set so that when the rudder is streamlined and the trim wheel is in the takeoff position, the rudder trim tab is offset about a quarter of an inch to the left. Now it's time to go fly. So I'm leveling off here at about 5,000 feet. Had to climb up to 5,000 to find some cool, smooth air. Uh, so we're above the haze layer. We've got good, good, good uh, smooth air to do a trim evaluation in. Kind of hard to tell if the airplane's in trim or not when you're down low in the rough air. Uh, we need smooth air to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the trim tabs uh, for kind of a nominal setting. Uh, I want the roll. The, the aileron roll trim, I want it streamlined, and I want the rudder trim to be set for cruise. And now I want to set power uh, for an average power setting. I'm going to use 1500 RPMs for the prop, and I'm going to use uh, 2600 foot-pounds for the engine torque. That'll give us a, a very average cruise speed, uh, which is how we want to trim the airplane. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my feet on the rudder pedals. I'm going to hold the ball between the lines, keep the airplane coordinated, and I'm going to let go of the control stick and I'm going to make a note of what the airplane's natural rolling tendency is. So I'm doing that right now. I'll let go of the control stick. Looks like the airplane wants to roll off to the left just a little bit. And it's rolling off to the left, so that's its natural rolling tendency. And as far as uh, quantifying that, that's, that's a pretty average amount of, of roll trim or out of, out of trim. Uh, so that'll be pretty easy to fix when we get back on the ground. Next thing I'm going to do is evaluate rudder trim or yaw trim. So with my hand on the controls, I'm going to hold the wings level. And I'm going to take my feet off the pedals, which I'm doing now. So there's feet flat on the floor. I want to make a note of what the airplane's natural yawing tendency is. So it looks like the nose swings over to the right, which means the airplane needs a little bit of left rudder. And as far as uh, how much, I'd say that's about a ball and a half, uh, maybe two balls. Um, so that's actually not, that's not a lot of out of trim there. That'll be something that's pretty easy to fix when we get back on the ground. Uh, so now we'll turn and head back to the airport and we'll make some trim adjustments and see if we can get this thing flying perfectly straight. Based on my flight evaluation, this airplane has a slight heavy left wing. We're going to make adjustments to the right hand bendable aileron trim tab to correct for this left wing heavy condition. To bend this tab, I'm going to use a custom tab bender that I've made. You can also buy a tool called a hand seamer at any local hardware store to do this job. When you bend the bendable trim tab, it's important to keep your bend to something less than five degrees. More than that, and the tab becomes ineffective. Based on my in-flight evaluation of trim, this airplane needs about two turns of rudder trim rod adjustment. I'm going to make that adjustment using this rod end and I'm going to do that now. I'm going to make this rod end adjustment by shortening the rod two complete turns. First I'll loosen the jam nut. Second I'll remove the bolt. And I'm going to shorten the rod two full turns. One, two, and then reassemble. Now that we've made our rudder and aileron trim adjustments, I'll do a second trim evaluation flight to make sure that the airplane flies hands off. 
Okay, so we've made some trim adjustments on the ground and I'm leveling off here in some smooth air uh, a little bit later in the day, so I had to come up to about 6,500 feet to find the smooth air this time. Uh, so we're leveling off. Uh, I've got the power set, for the same power setting I used on the first flight, uh, 2,600 foot-pounds of torque and 1,500 propeller RPMs. That way we're comparing apples and apples. So with the roll trim and the yaw trim set for nominal, I've got the aileron trim on the left wing streamlined and I've got the rudder trim set for cruise. And I'm leveling off here smooth air. Uh, so I'm gonna repeat the same check that we did on the first flight. Uh, I'm gonna hold the ball between the lines with my feet and I'm gonna release the flight controls and see what the airplane's natural rolling tendency is. So I'm doing that right now. So, I'd say we have solved our left wing, left wing heavy rolling tendency. Uh, I think we're trimmed out pretty good in roll now. So there's another check. Looks pretty good. All right, same thing for y'all. I'm gonna hold the wings level, and I'm gonna remove my feet from the rudder pedals, and feet are flat on the floor now. I'd say we've solved the, the rudder trim, out of trim condition as well. Ball's right there between the lines. Uh, so I'd say we're successful. Let's head back to the airport. This concludes our instructional video on how to make trim adjustments to your airplane for smooth, hands-off level flight. For more information, contact your dealer or visit airtractor.com. Thank you for your business and fly safe.